Powered by Davis Law Firm. The Dallas Cowboys are targeting tomorrow when head coach Mike McCarthy can return to the team. That's after he tested positive for COVID-19 last week and was forced to miss the 27-17 victory at the Saints Thursday night. His defensive coordinator, Dan Quinn, who had to step down from the press box and onto the sideline to act as head coach, and he brought us up to speed on when McCarthy could be back before facing their NFC East rivals, the Washington football team. Uh, for Mike, his 10-day window would end Thursday, but as you guys know, two uh, negatives he could get here earlier. So, um, you know, what does it look like over the next couple of days? We'll just wait and find out and see what his test results uh, show. But we're certainly, uh, you know, circling Thursday, uh, you know, for the day for him to return here and get going. But he's been excellent as far as the communication um, with myself, with the staff, and uh, that part's really felt on point. Cowboys fans will be cheering again this Sunday when the boys play at the Washington football team at noon and Dallas is favored by four. The Houston Texans became the first team to be eliminated from the playoffs after suffering their second shutout loss of the season to the Colts on Sunday 31 nothing. Most people thought it would be the Detroit Lions eliminated first and now it appears that the Texans will go with rookie quarterback Davis Mills after he had to come in during the third quarter against the Colts after Tyrod Taylor suffered an injury to his non throwing hand. Head coach David Coley was asked if this will be a difficult decision if Taylor is healthy enough to play. Now when you're looking at the way we've been playing, uh, the way our offense has been playing, obviously the job of our quarterback is to score points and get us in the end zone. And we haven't done that very well, and we're going to see what we need to do to get that corrected. And um, that's why we're doing the evaluation right now. And Coach Coley told the media this morning the Texans wave linebacker Zach Cunningham. Cunningham's release comes after he was suspended for the Texans' Week 13 loss to the Colts because he was late to his scheduled COVID-19 test. Sports Talk 790 is reporting he was cut for recurring tardiness. Cunningham was a second-round pick in 2017 by the Texans. Good thing UTSA football doesn't eat the cheese because they've had plenty of cheese put before them this season. Yesterday, a resolution was presented to the team at the opening of the Bear County Commissioner's Court meeting, congratulating them on their best season ever, a 12-1 record that included the 49-41 victory against Western Kentucky to win their first ever Conference USA title last Friday and will now face San Diego State on December 21st at the Tropical Smoothie Cafe Frisco Bowl. On behalf of the entire team and myself, just want to thank y'all for all the love and support y'all giving us this entire season. Uh, you know, it's greatly appreciated. It's truly an honor to be down here. You know, once we came uh, committed to UTSA, this is a, a goal of ours. We finally achieved it. Lots of love, and they certainly deserve it. Yeah, definitely. And note to self, don't be late. <laughs> Do <laughs> not <me>. be late <laughs> to a Texans team meeting. No. I mean, it proves that yeah. you, the tardiness is frowned upon even when you've quote unquote made it. Yeah, right? so. Absolutely. Oh, Thank you, Larry. Well, SA Live is next on KSAT 12. Let's check in <laughs> what they're doing. I saw some tamales. <gasps> oh, that's right. Yes, tis the season for tamales, toys, and trees. And let's talk about that incredible tradition for this time of year. And Carino Cortez with La Familia Cortez is going to show you the easiest way to do tamales. Yes, I'm going to show you, save you a trip to the grocery store. You're going to get five dozen tamales in under an hour. Under an hour? Yes. No dishes? No, I mean, no, piles of dishes? No piles of dishes, <laughs> no days of planning. <laughs> All right. And if you want to give your Christmas tree a new look this year, but want to do it on a budget and still make it look fancy, well, of course, Christmas decorator and wedding planner, Victor Garcia, is going to show you one quick way to do that. Here we go. Just burlap ribbon. Fold it twice. Use the tree branch to kind there of wrap you go. it. Hide it. Kind of fold again. Hide it, and then you might want to do it again. And just keep going. There you go. There and you go. And of course, get ready to reserve your ski passes right here in town. Jen, what? Yes, we're here at Chicken and Pickle, and they are known for a pickleball, but I'm exchanging the paddle today for some hot cocoa cock. Well, this is just a sample of what you all that and more when SA Live continues in just a few minutes with our day five of our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. All right, it just gets warmer and warmer for the rest of the week. A lot more humidity the next couple of days as well. Low chance of rain late Friday night with our next cold front and then highs only in the 60s by this weekend. How about morning lows in the mid 30s by Sunday morning, guys?
Yeah, We're going from like heater to AC. It's yes. Our poor light bills. Well, that's our show for now. Thanks for joining us. SA Live starts right now. now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy Wednesday. Tamales and Christmas trees. Oh, the holiday season, well, it's it's taken over, right? Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Mike Osterhage is off today. So with the tamales right here, we want to know, uh, where do you get your favorite tamales? Does a family member make it? Does your grandma make it? You know, let us know at SA Live Facebook and Twitter, and we'll air some of those comments a little later in the show. If you've got some pictures, be sure to share those as well. All right, well, it is the season for tamales, and between the long lines or just the amount of work and time making them, well, you know, they can be hard to get. Carino Cortez from La Familia Cortez is here to show us how they're making that even easier, yes. right? <laughs> so we love this tradition. It combines our recipes and spending time with your family and then just passing it on to the next generation. So we want to really preserve that. But we also know it takes a lot of work and we're all so busy during the holidays. So we're saving you a trip to HEB. We're saving you hours of planning and we made tamalada kits. So what is in these kits? So these kits are going to give you everything for five, about four to five dozen tamales. So we've got, we're going to have two quarts of filling. It's going to be either pork or chicken or um, one of each, your, your choice. A package of ojas. You're going to get this handy dandy little bag that's reusable. And then the prepared masa. So you know this masa is going to be good because oh, we've oh, made oh. hundreds of thousands of tamales um, at Mi Tierra alone. And so um, so it's all prepped. You know it's going to taste great. So and, and that's what you mentioned is yes. you wanted to preserve kind of the uh, tradition of spending the time together, yes. making those memories and making the tamales, but just kind of avoiding the whole having to plan it yes. a month out. Especially <laughs> since if you're if you haven't been doing it for years and years and years, then you might not be so super confident mm -hmm. in having all of the ingredients or how to prep stuff. So this is a good way to get started in the tradition. It's a very, you know, um, you're not going to spend a ton of time. It's about an hour to get all five dozen made, depending how many family members you recruit. Right. Um, <laughs> and then you just cook them and you know they're going to taste great. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so what is the best way to tackle tamales? So if you are going to use the kit, mm -hmm. I would, you know, definitely pre-order that online on our website, LaFamiliaCortez.com. But if you're going to make them from scratch at home, mm -hmm. then you know it's going to start with lots of planning. So writing that out, making sure you have your list and then timeline it so um, after you have all your ingredients start prepping it out you know the week before um, you can make the fillings you can even freeze those so that you don't have to make everything the day of masa will always be done that morning of because you don't want that to sour but um, you can make the fillings ahead of time you can soak the hojas the night before we recommend that um, and then just have everyone come over and enjoy the time together and and um, you can have tamales. <laughs> <laughs> and the kits, there are three different versions, yes, right? Yes, there's three different versions. So they all come with the base. Mm -hmm. So you have the masa, you have the hojas, you have two quarts of filling. You also get this nice little card. So we did a tutorial in my own home kitchen and I'm gonna show you how to unpack this, how to prep it, and step by step so you're not gonna mess up. And then we also have our Tamala the tunes, so everybody needs a playlist. Something to jam music. to. And so two QR codes and you'll have that. <laughs> I love this. So we get to see you cooking yes. in your, your own kitchen. And then we've got the two versions. So we've got the kids version. Sometimes you've got kids running around that want to be included. So we have a book that my sister and I wrote, Camila La Magica Makes Tamales, some coloring sheets, a little kid superhero cape like the little girl in the book. Or if you want the adults version, I mean, you can't go wrong with margaritas. So we have nope. a Patron <laughs> margarita kit. It's going to come with the mix, the Patron, obviously, and then those two cups that are commemorative and you can keep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I'd be happy we with that. We thought of everything, right? There, right? right? Yes. <laughs> and this weekend, of course, a big tamale event. Yes. So we've got La Gran Tamalada. It's the longest run tamal festival in San Antonio. And so we host several tamal vendors. We have the public library coming to do children's activities. We'll have a book reading. Um, we have a holiday artisan market curated by San Antonio local market. World Heritage Office is going to have an online virtual um, lecture series and demo. And we have Abuelita Hot Chocolate 
Charlotte coming out to give a giveaway for the first 250 guests. Love it. Okay, and that, of course, is happening this weekend. And folks can pick up the tamale kits. Yes, um, they're available at Mi mm -hmm. Tierra and at Mi Familia, or you can order them, pre-order them online or come in person. All right, and there's the information on your screen. It's happening Friday and Saturday right here at Market Square from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. There's going to be games, shopping, free hot chocolate, and even some snow, and of course, lots of tamales and Santa Claus. For more information, just go to LaFamiliaCortez.com. All right, so during La Gran Tamalada, there will be a special appearance by none other than <gasps> this fabulous lady right here, Carino Cortez. And this tradition of families um, coming together for tamaladas this time of year really inspired you, right? Yes, no, for sure. So it's one of my favorite traditions, and I really wanted to preserve that. I mean, I have a daughter and a son now, so my sister and I wrote this book, and we're just very excited to share that with everyone. And our Jen Tobias Strusky um, is bringing, uh, is sh showing how you are bringing this longtime tradition to the younger generations. It's really a It's really about creating memories and passing things down to the next generation, spending quality time. Generation after generation, Latinos gather for tamaladas or tamale making parties. This is a multi-generational gathering and yet something was missing for the younger generations. At least that's what Carino Cortez and her sister Paloma noticed at their annual La Gran Tamalada in Market Square. I noticed that all the kids that were coming and I'd ask the parents, you know, why do they bring them back every year? Year, and they said, well, I want my kids to have this experience. We don't do tamaladas at home. I didn't learn the recipes from my grandparents. And so I'd read a book every year. And there just wasn't one that talked about the tradition. It talked about everything else except for the tradition of tamales. So I really wanted to create something that exhibited that. And so here it is. Camila La Magica makes tamales. The main character, named after her daughter, Camila. So the character in the book is Camila La Magica. It is a little girl inspired by my daughter, actually. And she wants to be a magician, learn all the tricks and magic behind her abuela's magic tamales. And so she goes through learning the recipe uh, from her abuela, and that's really what the magic is. My daughter didn't really get it at first. She just knew that she loved the book. I was excited. I was kind of nervous reading it to her at first because kids are really honest. Um, but And she didn't really get that she was the character in the book, but she loves making tamales, and now she understands it, and she gets it's the message, so it makes me feel better. She's my toughest critic. The Cortez family, known in San Antonio for their signature restaurants, Mi Tierra, Pico de Gallo, La Margarita, and now Mi Familia, they are all about honoring and celebrating traditions of the Mexican culture. Cariño and her sister are third generation foodies who grew up in the family business. Tamaladas are one of my favorite traditions. It kind of marries comida, cultura, and familia, so food, culture, culture and family, um, it brings all those together and ties it in. Um, and passing down culinary and cultural traditions to the next generation is really my passion. Um, it's important that we preserve all that. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Jeske. Look at you, published author now, and you have a bonus treat with this book, yes. right? Yes, so this book has actually been endorsed uh -huh. by Nestle Abuelita Hot Chocolate, and so you'll find their recipe in the back of the book. They'll also be at La Gran Tamalada giving um, 250 cups of Abuelita Hot Chocolate away and some sample products, so we're really excited about this cross-promotion. All right, great educational tool to share tradition and culture. Thank you so much, Carino. Good to see you. Thank you. And thank you for bringing the tamales. Of course. They were <laughs> All right, well, from tamales to a ski lodge right here in San Antonio, say what? Well, our Jen Tobias Trusky is over there at Snowbound, a merry ski lodge, an experience over at Chicken and Pickle. Hey there, Jen. Hello, and it doesn't matter, right, that it's 80 degrees outside. We're going to feel the snow vibe, so I'm not quite ready, but I think we can make this happen, okay? Yep, okay, we got a jacket here, too, and then last but not least, 
<laughs> We've got our scarf. And Tony Palacino, the general manager, joins me now. You're ready. We're ready. Okay. I'm ready to go. You feeling these snow vibes Yep, now? it's vibes are here. All right, let's talk about this amazing pop-up bar. Uh, how long has it been going on, and, and where did this idea come from? We started a few weeks ago. Uh, we started last year in North Kansas City, our home location, and we brought Snowbound this year to San Antonio, and we're going to go through about the beginning of January. But it's really cool, one of the only unique Christmas pop-up bars here in San Antonio. I love it. I'm feeling the vibes here. And what's a party without the cocktails? That's so right. You have, uh, quite a selection of lodge cocktails and the lovely bartender Hilario is going to whip up some for us right now. The first one is the free rider. So he's making it right over there. Tell us what's in that. Tony. So a free rider is going to come with screwball whiskey, which is a peanut butter whiskey, really unique. We then add a little bit of Kahlua, of course, and then of course hot chocolate because it is Christmas time. On top of that, we're going to put some marshmallows and then a drizzle of caramel and chocolate. Finished off, it is delicious, served hot and warm to keep you nice and warm here in Texas. All right, so I'm gonna help him finish this one off. And on the menu, you have quite the selection. So he's gonna start working on the next one, which is fun, it's the whiteout, right? Yes, the whiteout is amazing. Whiteout is uh, our nutmeg-based concept. So again, uh, served with nutmeg in there, a little bit of uh, uh, excuse me, uh, eggnog, and then nutmeg, and then ginger snap on top. We even light up the glass for you to make sure you can see what's coming. Uh, but that one is good, served with a uh, delicious Bacardi. And this one has been very popular so far this year. All right, and while he finishes that one, let's let's talk about what we have in front of us here. So these you're looking at, the often left to right, your adjust your altitude is first. That one is great, a little cinnamon maker's mark. A really popular and nice sipping drink. Next you'll see is kind of the adult size, you know, fun little kids bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we do a little Jack Daniels branded. It's, it's called our Ski Patrol. Uh, you hopefully one of your little dogs will come rescue you and bring that to you. Uh, next to that, you'll find your, um, <clears throat> excuse me, See you later. It is hot apple cider with a little apples on top, little cinnamon dust on top, delicious, of course, spiked like. And then at the very end, you'll find your tips up, cranberries and a little rosemary on there, delicious. All of these are so good. Everything here just runs for about 11 bucks. All right, now here it is. This is the whiteout. Now he's working on the avalanche, but look at how cool this is. <laughs> how beautiful. All right, I'm gonna give this a little taste. Do you have a favorite, Tony? I do, the, the ski patrol in the bag is my absolute favorite, because you can take it and walk around the property with it too. I mean, this is not your child's Capri Sun here. All right, we'll give this one a try as well. And he's gonna work on the avalanche, but you also have something really fun that is um, that your coworkers back here are getting ready to do. do you want That's to right, so it's not, Snowbound without a shot ski. So we take a literal ski and put four shots on it. These guys are going to show you how it runs. You guys ready? Let's make it happen. Three, two, one. Every table loves to do one of these. We try to get as many as we can. That's right. <laughs> and again, a tough task for them, right? Coming to work and get asked to do that. But uh, a great time out here. And he's finishing up the avalanche. This one looks beautiful. I like the little slanted glass there, too. And the menu includes about eight different cocktails here, but there's also food on the menu, several events coming up, and you saw earlier we were outside, so there's also the balcony. Now, when we come back, we will get a taste of the menu and That's also right. a little tour, because again, you can rent this out, you have to reserve it, and all of that we're going to show you, right? Super excited. Can't wait to all see right. you guys in a minute. I get to your favorite drink here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> back to you guys. Oh my gosh, you look like you're in a different state right now. <laughs> yes. I love it. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> All right, still ahead on SA Live, it's a one-of-a-kind way to celebrate the season. Check out the stunning sights and sounds as Christmas goes underground, literally. Plus, it's your chance to win five incredible gifts. Our, day, our 12 days of Christmas giveaway continues, and we're going to tell you how you can enter. But first, want to give your Christmas tree a new look but don't want to spend a whole lot of money? How to decorate on a budget? The pros are here to help out. That's next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, would you like to freshen up your old Christmas tree with a brand new look? Well, decorator and wedding planner Victor Garcia is here to show us some smart tips for redesigning it all and best of all, on a budget. budget. And it's going to look fantastic. Yes. All right. So something that, you know, a lot of folks may have kind of laying around are their old ornaments or just maybe ornaments that they don't use. How can you repurpose them? Correct. So like you see over here though, we have ornaments that maybe we don't use so, mm -hmm. or even if you just want to purchase some inexpensive ornaments. What I like to do though, is glue them in clusters. It doesn't matter what you, I mean, what size or what shape though. Once you're done, it comes out perfect though. So let's just say we have some here already mm -hmm. that are already glued, mm -hmm. right? So uh, once you do that though, you can use whatever you have at the house though. I usually buy a few items, but these are actually left over. 
So let's just say you're done gluing, mm -hmm. which, I mean, the uh, ornaments, what you can do is start adding. So you're gonna embellish your ornament though, right? Oh, so yes, yeah, so you can actually add some more and it starts making the ornament a little bit more personable and a little bit more. You know, well, it looks like you've got a custom ornament. Exactly, so then, you know, you can even, you can add some more, you know, and there you go, you got a custom made ornament, very inexpensive though. So here's one that, it's already done. Oh, look at that. That looks so, so good. So, you know, so once, can you imagine having at least six or eight of these? Your tree will already start looking nice and full. And that was so easy because all you did was just kind of use one branch Correct. to position it and right. hold it on there. And if there. you want to do the uh, the hook, you can mm -hmm. easily just hot glue the, the hook in there to make it, you know, a little bit more secure though. But that alone will start making your tree look already nice and full. All right. And another way to kind of oh. help your tree look a little full fast is the use of burlap, right? Very inexpensive. Okay. So what I like to do though is you cut your burlap in panels. We're doing yellow today because it's more like a fiesta tree, but you can get whatever color you want. You can find these at any, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, flower stores, anything like that. All you do is just get it, put it in your tree and start opening it up. That alone is actually going to give you a nice full tree. And again, you could do any color you want though. And you can even Let's switch the burlap up and do a different sort of correct. look, right? Yes. I mean, so, slightly. So usually, let's just say about two rows or even one row mm -hmm. will get you a nice full tree though. Mm -hmm. So let's just say you want to do a different style though. Mm -hmm. So what you do, instead of doing what I just did, just do it the opposite direction. So this would give you more, let's just say, of a clean look. There you go. And you just open it up. So once you do that, you can start adding your ornaments and believe it or not, you're gonna have a really nice full tree. So if you're gonna use the burlap like you just did, mm -hmm. don't do the ornaments yet, do the burlap first. I like doing the burlap okay. first because it gives you the uh, the background of what you need, what you going mm -hmm. to work with yeah. though. Yes. And then you can kind of fill in the gap. Exactly, so then you start adding your ornaments that you just created though. Okay, another thing that might, well, it, it worries me because I don't know how to do it is the cool ribbon that you oh see my God. in Very in easy, very easy. It looks so professional. I like to use the burlap <laughs> ribbon okay. only because it, it just falls well. So you just get it folded in two. Let's just say you're going to, there you go, just make your two little bows right there. And to hold it in place, all you're doing is what? Just pinching it and tucking it. Make sure that you don't see the tree where you did that. So again, so you, just use one of the branches to wrap around the One of the, the branches, ribbon. tuck okay. in, and you can see how easy it's already flowing. So you get two more. You can actually even do three. You want to go dramatic, do three. So let's do three here. There you go, and tuck. Oh my gosh, so, I love it. Yeah, so your tree actually starts looking nice mm -hmm. and full though. Now again, you want to cut these mm -hmm. on whatever size you're using. So let's just say you have a smaller tree, mm -hmm. well then you cut the panels a little right. bit smaller. You got a larger tree, you cut them a little bit larger. And now we're just going to reveal. Oh yes. All right, the kind of finished version. Tell us about the theme of this tree real quick. Well, of course, Fiesta. We're at the Market Square though, so it has to be nice and colorful. Everything that you what? see here though is just stuff that I've used before though that you could just throw back on the tree though. Anything that you put on the tree is always going to look good though. All right, and of course you decorate for Christmas and of course wedding yes. planner also. So for more information on Victor Garcia, just head to our website, salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Still ahead on SA Live, it's a pop-up ski lodge right here in town. We get a taste of the great food you eat in this one-of-a-kind experience in South Texas. And next, did you know your health care plan could actually help with the groceries? How it works and who can take advantage? It's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, Amerigroup is an insurance company that offers advantage plans that work with Gonzaga Medical Group to cover senior patients who are eligible for Medicare. And here to tell us more is Richard Cavada, representative with Amerigroup. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Now, we've been hearing a lot about Medicare and, of course, Medicare Advantage plans. For those that don't know, what is the difference? Sure. So the fundamental difference is that original Medicare, or traditional as it's known, only covers 80%, leaving the consumer 20% out of pocket, making that very, very expensive, very fast. So an alternative for that would be an Advantage plan that would help the consumer with the 20% out of pocket 
in addition to other benefits and services that original Medicare does not offer. And I think you made, a, you made a great point right there is that that 20% can really be a chunk of change that folks, when they first look at the numbers, go 80, 20. Oh, that's not too bad. But it really could be a giant you know, sum sure. to pay. So that sure, can really course. help out. Yes. So let's talk about the additional benefits uh, that it has. OK, so every Medicare Advantage plan that Amerigroup offers has dental, vision, hearing, additional transportation benefits in each one of those. And we have so many plans to offer, so everyone has be those benefits included. And so how can, does it help with, say, going to the grocery every month? Well, it does. As a matter of fact, for 2022, for January, two brand new benefits that are going to be available are a, a grocery, uh, $50 grocery uh, debit card for consumers to so the next visit at their local supermarket, they can use that. And also a uh, insulin discount program for those individuals that are an insulin dependent because of diabetic condition. Mm -hmm. of That's an excellent savings plan. And that, that gift card for the, uh, for the debit card for the groceries every month? Every month. Every month. For the whole year. For the whole year. Yes. All right. And of course, you work with Gonzaga Medical Group. What can you tell us about that partnership? Well, it's an excellent, wonderful partnership because Amerigroup dedicated to the insurance and Medicare Advantage plans and Gonzaba doing what they do best, taking care of the patients, working together, excellent relationship. That way our patients, our consumers don't have to worry about a thing. And speaking of not really having to worry too much, enrollment period you know, just ended, Correct. but what's coming up at the first of the year? So let's remember three things. Mm -hmm. You have individuals that are turning 65 every single day, every month between now and, and, and the end of next year, right? You have individuals that become Medicare eligible, Medicaid, or vice versa. And beginning January 1st through March 31st is a new enrollment period or open enrollment for those individuals that either did not get a chance to enroll this previous time or have had second thoughts or want to make a change or simply have general questions that they didn't get a chance to answer please give us a call. And that's the thing, is go ahead and give you guys that call, right? Exactly, all right? exactly. Okay. All right, let's get the information up on the screen. For more on Amerigroup Health Plans, just call 210-247-6105. That's 247-6105 or visit amerigroup.com. And for more on Gonzaga Medical Group, call 210-960-8956. That's 960-8956. Richard, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, still ahead on the show, the prizes just keep adding up and they could all be yours. How you can win today's gift plus all the other ones we've already given away. Day five of our 12 days of Christmas giveaway is just minutes away. And next, Christmas goes underground. Literally, check out everything you can experience at this special holiday attraction. It's Christmas at the Caverns. Natural Bridge Caverns is sprucing up the caves with some holiday cheer every weekend through December 23rd. There are going to be carolers, twinkling lights, holiday scenes, and a giant musical Christmas tree, and so much more. And here to tell us all about it is Vice President Travis Weiss. Hey there. Hello, welcome. Talk about bringing the Christmas spirit. You guys are all about it. And caroling at the Caverns. Seriously, that's got to sound absolutely amazing in there. Talk about acoustics. Oh, it's the perfect set for uh, caroling and uh, the majestic chambers of the cave, live performances, your favorite Christmas carols sung inside the cave. Uh, it's a spectacular event for sure. And how often does that happen? How can folks see it? Yeah, so th those events will take off uh, for about 10 nights. And so we can check the schedules and show times on our website. And uh, we definitely recommend folks get advanced tickets for that too. All right, and there are lights and several activities for folks. There's a lot of activities all across the grounds here as well. We have, of course, Christmas trees and light displays everywhere. We have a lighted walk to display called the Trail of Lights this year. There's gonna be thousands of lights, uh, Christmas music everywhere. Santa's Spelunker Claws will be on site for family pictures. We have a skating rink for synthetic ice skating set up this year as well. We have a reindeer roundup maze where you can find all of Santa's lost reindeer. So there's just more fun than you can shake a candy cane at. So many family memories to be made. So many like Instagrammable, you know, moments, right, for folks. Absolutely. So it's, an, it's a great opportunity to get out and enjoy things with the family. Um, the event also supports the San Antonio New Braunfels Food Bank. So we encourage people to bring a food item out um, and we'll give them some marshmallows they can roast around the campfire as well. I love that. Now you mentioned a skating ring. Tell me a little bit about that. Sure. Yeah. So it's a synthetic ice skating ring. So it 
it's uh, it's not real ice, but uh, you put on real skates and you're gonna glide around uh, kind of like you were skating. It's a lot of fun. As we said, there's also a, a, a 5,000 square foot labyrinth maze that has uh, all of Santa's reindeer lost throughout the maze. And so you're gonna make your way through the maze and you have to find all of his reindeer and make it out and it's all a timed event. So that's a ton of fun too. Anything else folks should know before they come on out? You know, um, definitely dress for the weather, whatever it is outside, most of the event is outdoors. And so uh, get your tickets in advance as well. What is the reaction from folks when you do this every year? You know, uh, people just really enjoy being uh, outdoors here in the Hill Country. Um, our, our grounds are beautiful and the lights are great. And so it's just a really fun family opportunity for people to come out and enjoy something uh, close to home. And this time of year, I mean, the caves are lit up in a whole different way, right? That's true. So the caverns has been relit completely, as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. with new state-of-the-art LED lighting. But there's also going to be some special Christmas lights at the end of the tour, just for the season. All right. And Christmas at the caverns is happening select nights here at Natural Bridge Caverns through December 23rd. For more information, just call 210-651-6101 or visit naturalbridgecaverns.com. Still ahead on the show, we didn't leave out the animals during our Natural Bridge adventure. We meet some of the newest members of their wildlife family. And next, wish you could spend the holiday on the ski slopes? Well, this might be the closest you'll get. We're tasting some ski lodge flavors at this fun winter experience right here in town. the most wonderful time of the year. Yes, it is our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. It's day five, and that means today's winner will take home prizes from the first four days and today, including a family fun fact of the Old West Christmas Light Fest at Enchanted Springs Ranch with admission passes, mechanical bull rides, hot cocoa, and s'mores for five. A $164 gift card to Lala's Gorditas, not valid for tamales, a pair of tickets to select shows at the Majestic Theater, including Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, a $200 gift card to Good Time Charlie's with comfort food like chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes and gravy, and more. And today's prize, a fajitas and margaritas package from Las Palapas. It includes their famous beef and chicken fajitas, a giant gallon margarita, rice, beans, tortillas, and all the fixins. You can enter to win the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway right now at ksat.com slash 12 days. We also have a link on our Facebook page at SA Live KSAT. The day 12 winner takes home all 12 prizes. So keep entering every day. The grand prize will be announced on the SA Live Classic Christmas Special on December 17th at 1 p.m. So good luck. All right, well, we told our Jen Tobias Strusky earlier we would ski her later. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just, it's funny. Okay, uh, and it's time to head back out to Chicken and Pickles Holiday Pop-Up Bar, which makes you feel like, hey, you know, you're finishing a few runs on the slopes, and now it's time to eat. Hey there, Jen. <laughs> Yes, exactly. You've just finished that nice ski run and now it's time to get a taste of the menu. Now this is one of the more Instagram worthy spots here at Chicken and Pickles Snowbound, a Mary Ski Lodge. So I had to get in there, isn't that fun? But we're gonna come now into one of the bigger rooms. Again, you can rent this. Tony's here waiting for us. Now let's just take in this cozy room. Tell me about this awesome spot in here. Our goal was to make you feel like you just got off the slopes, coming in onto our Mary Ski Lodge. Come in, have a cocktail, have a little bite to eat, watch the Hallmark Channel and relax. And yes, he said Hallmark Channel. I know, <laughs> I know Mike Osterhage is off today, but he would love that because it's on <laughs> constantly, constantly. Now, if you get hungry, we're going to start here and show you what's on the lodge menu. Yes, so this is our uh, initial little appetizer by our crunch mix, a mixture of some beautiful yogurt pretzels, chocolate pretzels, and the like. We pan over to our deviled eggs. These are homemade with a little jalapeno jelly on top mm. and some bacon. Delicious little bites right there. We have our famous pimento cheese dip. We only have this for Snowbound. Some caramelized onions on top, serve with some toast and little baguettes as well. It is delicious, served hot. And then our salmon dip, again, fresh salmon off the coast and then a little cucumber radish and some extra bread as well. 
We have the most famous item we serve currently is our pork belly and Brussels sprouts. This thing is what? not to be forgotten. Everyone's been ordering it like crazy. And then finish off, you got a little sweet tooth. This is our whiskey chocolate cake. Look at that. That thing will tear you down. Wow. Okay, that looks amazing. So this is, again, what's on the Lodge menu. And we showed you the cocktails earlier. So this is part of our tour. We're going to adjust our lighting as we head outside because this is also part of the experience because we've got the fire going. Tell <laughs> That's me. Right. Oh, my God. I love it. So tell me about what we have out here. So same thing. We set up four fire pits out here. Our guests can come out here and reserve one of these to hang out by the fire. Uh, Texas is having a little hard time getting cold so far, but we'll get there. And then it's a perfect environment. Come hang out with us out here. Enjoy your cocktails out here. A little bit of greenery. You might see Bigfoot walking by, uh, <laughs> but a lot of really cool area. Again, it's a little toasty for us today, but that doesn't take away from this experience. And you have some fun events coming up. One of them, Pups with Santa, right? Pups with Santa <laughs> on the 15th. We're going to have Santa here to take pictures with all your pups that night. And then we're doing an ugly uh, Christmas sweater uh, tournament in pickleball on the 18th as well. Got it. Okay, and then you have a nice um, little give back with the chicken and pickle cups if you purchase those, right? That's right. Chicken and pickle always wants to give back to our community, and the Green Cup program is something we've been proud of since day one. And so right now, this current uh, first half of the month, we're donating back to Special Olympics Texas, and then we'll have a new charity each half of the month. So we're very excited to come on down and support a local charity while enjoying yourself at Snowbound. Perfect. Now we're going to go back inside. Yes, I know. I'm taking you guys all over, but we're going to finish off here at the bar. Um, and because we didn't really get to come back this way. So who helped you design all of this? Because this is so cool. I love the different combinations of Chicken everything. and Pickle is very lucky. We've got somebody named Abby Marshall, and she and her family put this together. This is her uh, brainchild. And then Chicken and Pickle has partnered with her, and she's done this in all of our current open locations across the country. It is wonderful, and uh, we're so excited to do it this year, and we hope to continue for years to come. And for those watching that are interested, I know our executive producer said, I want to go. How much time do they have? How long does this last? And what's the best way to reserve this? So we're going through early January. Uh, the best way to reserve is online. We do online reservations. Uh, you can book a two-hour, what we call a flight, and we do about three to four flights a day, usually in the evening time. So get yours booked. Come on down and enjoy it. Uh, we'll be here. I got to tell you, the Hallmark Channel adds the perfect touch <laughs> with the Christmas movies, but I'm really excited about this. Thank you for having us there. And My pleasure. Back to you, Fiona. I'm going to take a drink. Uh, well, I've got a crush on some animals here at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. We are going to introduce you to their three latest additions. That's a big boy, and he is one of the latest additions here at Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. And Tiffany Secting joins me right now. <laughs> Introduce us to all three of them. Okay, well, the, the big one closest to us, that's Kutu, and that's the male. And then the two young ladies over here are Hilga and Gertie. Uh, appropriate names for the area. They're now calling home. I was hearing some 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 activity behind me right there. Okay, what kind of sounds do they make? Do they make sounds? Like you heard kind of that deep breathing like and a, a little gr like a grunt grunting. Or, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. They also make like a high pitched squeak, you know, like the like the females like when they run and and are like playing uh -huh. keep away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> playing hard to get from him, playing yeah. hard to get. Yeah. You know, they make like a like a high pitched like a dog squeak toy. For oh. lack of a better way of well, describing it, I don't from know. From such a big animal, yeah. I mean, this guy, I mean, yo, oh, I mean, yeah. up this close, this is, this is, this is, I mean, it's a little, un, you know, I'm a little nervous. I mean, yeah. he's just, he's such a big boy. How, how much does he weigh? He weighs over two tons. Wow. Yeah. And so on their back, of course, a lot of mm -hmm. mud. So they use that to cool mm -hmm. off, right? They do. Okay. They do. They're like a pig uh, that where they have they they have very limited sweat glands, mm -hmm. and um, so their whole body surface to keep it cooled, to keep it regulated, they roll in the mud to regulate their body temperature. Also, it helps protect against external parasites. Now he's so much bigger than the. Mm -hmm two females, mm -hmm. uh, is it just due to an age difference? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Is their eyesight or their sense of smell better? Their sense of smell is much better and that's where they get a, a bad rap, so to say, <laughs> is they, they will charge, but they're more charging not only to intimidate, but also to get a better sense of smell. 
And if you notice like the females, they're, they're, they have that predominant more hair, you know, cause they have very limited hair, but on the, the ends of their ears, on their ears is where you really see, and obviously the end of their tail, um, that you see the hair on them. Wow. Yeah. So we're very blessed to not only be um, one of the zoological partners with the International Rhino Foundation, but then we're also one of the conservation centers with C2S2 that stands for Conservation Centers for Species Survival. We're very blessed to be a part of that. All right, tell folks how to come out and enjoy Natural Ridge Wildlife Ranch. Super, super easy. You just, just go right out 35, like you're going north towards Austin, and before you even get to New Braunfels, we're exit number 175, and just seven miles west, and you run right into us. All right, and you can see these guys right here. For all that information and more, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Tomorrow on SA Live, a Christmas tradition. We have a preview of this weekend's The Nutcracker performed by the Children's Ballet of San Antonio. Plus, put a personal touch on your holiday cards and thank you notes with calligraphy. You'll look like a pro and you know what? It's easier than you think. All that and the day six prize reveal in our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. It's tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you, where's your favorite place to get tamales? Victor Garcia, besides making them ourselves, Telez is where he likes to get those. And Rose says, my mom makes the best tamales. Oh yeah, and those are priceless. Veronica says, homemade at Casa Ramos Kitchen. Yes, right there at home are her favorites. And Jesse says, hey, we make them too. There's our phone number. <laughs> and Paula says, just got some today. First time trying Delia's and they were delicious. All right, don't forget La Gran Tamalada is happening right here at Market Square this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Remember games, shopping, free hot chocolate, Santa, and even snow. Just head to La Familia Cortez for more information. And remember, you can also pick up those great tamale kits that will really save you some time, but still give you the great experience of making those tamales together as a family. We will see you tomorrow at one with day six of our 12 days of Christmas giveaway.